Hello guys, welcome back to Million Show. Today we are going to talk about my favorite topic, which is football. I'm going to tell you the statistic of Albania in Euro 2024 and how far we have gone from the last year. Albania this season have been a very good team. They have went up on the way far rankings from the 64th team in the world to the 22nd team in the world. And they are the first on the point table with 13 points. They have showed a really great performance this season, scoring a lot of goals outside of the 60 meter range, especially a player called Yasser Asani. Their first match in Euro 2024 qualifiers was against Poland. They have played this team uh, in the World Cup qualifiers as well, where they have lost to them twice. In the first match of the qualifiers, we lost to them again 1-0, where Poland player called Swiderski scored the goal versus Albania. We totally had three shots on goal, seven shot attempts, and 45% ball possession. While Poland had five shots on goal, 11 shot attempted, and 55% possession. That was a very sad to see because we were hoping that we might actually change the history and beat them this time, but it seems we just couldn't. The second match day of Euro 2024 was versus Moldova where this time we actually won 2-0 and the goals were scored by Yasser Asani and Nedim Bayrami in which Yasser Asani scored an absolute banger outside of the 16 top corner. We totally had 5 shots on goal, 12 shots attempted and 72% ball possession. While Moldova only had 1 shot on our goal, 8 shots attempted and 28% ball possession which tells us that we have a really good defense. Match day 3 was versus Faroe Islands, and we had the advantage since in the UFR rankings we are ranked before them, so it was expected for us to win in this match. We won this match 3-1 for us, where the scorers were Nedim Bayrami, Christian Asloni and Ernest Bucci. And the Faroe Island player which scored for them, which his name is Odmar Fairo. In this match, we had 6 shots on goal, 19 shots attempted, and 49% ball possession, while Faroe Island had only 2 shots on goal, 9 shots attempted, and 51% ball possession. This match was an expected win for us, since, uh, since I wasn't really that happy uh, since we won, because I was expecting Albania to win. Match day 4 is where things start to get interesting because we're going to play against uh, Ksets Republic. And everyone was expecting us to lose, since Ksets Republic had just beaten Poland on this Euro 2024 qualifiers. So everyone thought we were not that good to win this game. But we, uh, we actually managed to take a draw with them, which is a really, really good and is really on our favor. Since the match was held on Czech Republic and not a lot of Albanians were there. So we didn't have a lot of motivation to win this game. But we still managed to get a 1-1 draw. The, score, uh, the goal was scored by Nedim Bayrami and the Czech Republic player Va Vaclav Kearney. What is crazy about this draw is that Czech Republic had 4 shots on goal, 11 shots attempted and 57% ball possession and only scored one, while us Albanians only had one shot on goal, one shot attempted, which was, which was another banger from Nedim uh, Bayrami, outside 60 meters, and 43% ball position, and we managed to do a 1-1 draw with them, which is honestly crazy. Match day 5. In match day 5, we were versus Poland, so we had to rematch them again, and we actually won 2-0 this time, since... Uh, the game was held in our home. Poland actually scored one, but it was called offside, so it didn't count. The ones who scored for Albania were Yasser Asani and Milin Daku, where we had three shots on goal, seven attempted shots, and only 39% ball position, while Poland had two shots on goal, 12 shots attempted, and 61% ball position. This just goes to show what a great defense and attack Albania have right now. After Mirjan Daku scored, 
what was crazy was that he took off his shirt and he had a tattoo, which was Katana 138. That tattoo indicates Uchaka soldiers who died fighting to protect Kosovo from Serbians. I don't really want to go into politics, but I want just to say that Serbians weren't really that happy for that tattoo that Merlin ta- Doc Wet made. And by the way, what's with Albania? They only score bangers. It's so entertaining to watch them because more of their go- most of their goals are like from really, really far away, always outside of 60 meters, especially Yasser Asani and Nedim Barami. They're scoring, they're scoring some bangers this season. The last match, which has happened until now in year 2024 qualifiers, is Albania against Czech Republic. We had a rematch. Last time, we were in the draw, 1-1. This time, we actually managed to win 3-0. Bec- uh, the goals were scored, which were where the goals were scored from Yasser Asani, uh, which was another banger, by the way. And two other goals were scored from Tao Jan Sarefi. An important reason to why we won this match is because we were in our home field. And we had a lot of more motivation, since a lot of Albanians went to the stadium to watch us play. We totally had 4 shots on goal, 8 shots attempted, and only 35% ball possession. Which goes to show what a great defense and attack we have. While Kzec had 7 shots on goal, 13 shot attempt, and 64% ball possession. I think that we are basically qualified for this Euro 2024, since the last two matches will be against Moldova and Faroe Islands, which will be played in November. From the statistic, we have a really uh, good statistic against them. So I think this will be two easy uh, wins for Albania. The only bad thing that I'm sad about is that Kosovo doesn't have that much chances to qualify for this year 2024 qualifiers. Since they have gotten way too many draws and losses to teams, they were uh, ranked higher than them in UFR rankings. Their first match was against Israel, where they have gotten a draw, which is very good since everyone was expecting Israel to win, since they were the favorite. Uh, and so we managed to actually make a draw with them. The second match was against Andorra, where I myself went to watch that game, and I was disappointed. I remember that Adonja Grova scored the first goal, but right after that, Andorra scored one goal and made it 1-1, which was not fair favorable for us since we were expected to win this. The third match was against Romania. Another draw. A really boring match, 0-0. There wasn't that much action. Next up is against Belarus, where we had to win this game, but we actually lost to them 2-1, which is honestly depressing, since Belarus is like one of the lowest ranking teams, and we actually lost to them. Next up was Kosovo versus Switzerland, and Kosovo actually managed to surprise me this time, because they managed to get 2-2 versus them. Switzerland is known for being one of our highest teams in uh, UEFA rankings, and we managed to do a draw with them. I still didn't lose my hopes for Kosovo, and I thought we were going to win, but we lost again to Romania, 2-0. So the hopes for us to qualify for year 2024 are basically over. So to wrap things up, I want to thank you all for hearing my podcast today, and I hope you have a great day.